active. There has been an evolution of people using uh, blogging platforms. At the beginning, there were those who had something to say, then <laughs> things broadened and other people said, yeah, I want to blog, but they didn't have anything to say. <laughs> and so they Everyone has something to say. They would, but they have to train to be able and express it better. <laughs> But many people discovered uh, uh, live streaming uh, uh, application platforms where the concisiveness, the, the succinctness of the expression helps uh, with uh, being maybe to the point. So do you think that this is going to be a, a permanent increment to the tools that are available? Absolutely. Uh, blogging has blogging formats are actually kind of cyclical. When blogging first started, it was very short, very Twitter-like, actually. If you look at the original blogger interface, done by the same guy who did Twitter at Williams, it was a box and a button, just like Twitter is today. Um, they, people later pushed for it to become longer and longer and more complex, and now it's kind of going the other direction. And I think that cycle will continue. Um, where I see it going now is from short form into you know, more mortal media where it becomes really easy to capture, you know, photos and video with like an iPhone. And it's your one button from sharing that. 3G wireless networks are becoming ubiquitous. There's no reason you can't upload a video directly from your phone and have it to all your friends in minutes or seconds. Your opinion, how is blogging uh, impacting uh, uh, people and, and, and their social lives and social opportunities? Well, like you said, more communication is never a bad thing, right? To the extent that blogs and all of technology really, it's not just blogging, it brings people closer to the people they love, their family, and interestingly, the people that they don't know they don't know. That's fantastic. And um, everyone, you know, everyone is not going to blog, right? Typically you have adoption curves where, you know, 1% of the people create things, 9% will comment on things, and then 90% just watch, you know? And that's fine. I mean, I think what's cool is that what we can consume as a regular person, someone who's just watching, has multiplied infinitely. You know, before, from television to video to writing to everything. It's no longer just the newspaper that comes to our door every day. There's the equivalent of a million newspapers being created all over the world in every language constantly. And um, that's, it opens up, it opens up consumption as well as publishing just as much.